Okay, let's just move this. Make sure you can see me okay. And okay, so good evening, everybody. Welcome to my Wednesday night video. Um, I was going to do a catalog walkthrough tonight of showing you all of the things that are retiring and they're going to be on the last chance list. Um, but then a team member shared a video that she made, um, like a little um, short video. And so I posted that on my Facebook page. Um, but if people still want me to do a walkthrough of the catalog, I would be happy to do that. But for tonight, I'm going to be um, opening this month's paper pumpkin kit. So if you're here, thank you for watching. My name is Anne-Marie Jakubic. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. I, I'm in Oshawa, Ontario. And so if you're watching, and um, please feel free to comment. And if you're on YouTube, if you could give me a thumbs up, if you like my videos, that'd be great. And I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. It, it all helps. <laughs> so um, let's get started. I haven't even, I just took the, the cellophane off the box and that's about it. Um, okay, so let me just... Do this solo. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you, everybody can see and hear me okay. Um, so let's see. This this kit is called uh, looks very close. Memorable Meadows. So uh, every March. Um, uh, Paper Pumpkin gives you a free and extra um, stamp set because it's their birthday month. <laughs> so this month is a nice flower one. Um, I'll show it to you when I get Let's open this up. So it comes with a Guardian Green ink spot. out of the way okay so it all comes in this little package everything's in here so let's just open this up it is nicely package keeps everything from getting messed up through the mail system okay let's just take this out hi Brittany how are you okay it comes with these wood elements which I'm not crazy about to tell you the truth I'm not even sure if I'll use them tonight because, yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so these are like a wooden. Let's see. Let's open these up. I'll punch one of them out, but I'm not, I. It's not my favourite embellishment. So I've seen some people who have coloured these um, with they've sponged them with their with their uh, blending brush. Um, it's not flexible at all. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's very hard. It's wood. So um, yeah. So. I, I, I just I'm not sure how it goes with this with these cards but anyway so and it also comes with some 
um, gorgeous grey vellum pieces. Let's put this, let's get this out. So let's look here. So this corresponds with the um, the online exclusive set. It's called um, Meandering Meadows. Look at me remembering. Um, so yeah, so this uh, would go well with that. With that, water paint. You go for it, Brittany. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> you know how I feel about water painting. <laughs> so, um, I might, I might you, I might. Okay, for so tonight I'm going to make the cards as they were designed for the kit, and then uh, tomorrow probably I will make some alternatives with them and see what I can come up with. So for tonight I'll use them, but yeah. Okay, so that's the instructions. So the instructions, everything is got pictures, so you know what to do. So let me just show you the stamp sets while I've got this here. So these are flowers. These are this is the extra the stamp set that you get with the kit, and then these are the ones that um, are. For making the kit. So it's got You've Been On My Mind. Let's see what it says here. Heartfelt Thanks. And then there's a flower. Uh, it's the Little Things That Matter. Have a Beautiful Birthday. And yeah, so those are the stamps. And then it comes with a little insert for those people that like to store their stamp sets when they're finished their kit. So you would just kind of fold it like that. So because they used to have the images printed on the acetate but then they've stopped that and they've just given you the the insert. So anyhow let's see what else we've got here. So the card bases are lovely. I do like the, the card bases, but I would cut these apart personally and just put these on another card base so that you've got both sides that you can use. So let's see, are they all the same? Let's have a look here. No, there's this one. They're lovely. So, make six cards, three of each, so, and then it's got some little, nice little labels here with gold foiling on them and some banners and what else did it come with? It came with some glue dots. Some, some dimensionals. Uh, get these out. And some little um, embellishments. Okay, so let's just. No, it actually makes three sets of cards. Three. Let me see, what does it make? Uh, Contains supplies for nine cards and nine envelopes. So must be. Uh, so that's one. And then. But they've got three cards on the front here. Oh, this one. This one. This one. And then this one. This one opens differently. I really like this one. It reminds me of little ballerinas. <laughs> okay, so that's the card bases. Let's put these other ones away so I get more room.
and the envelopes are very nice as well. They're very fancy. Let's get the round edge on it. Okay. So let's start with this one. Okay, they're very simple to put together. You've been on my mind. Is, oh, sorry. This is the one we're going to do first. You've been on my mind. It's got the wooden element behind it and the gorgeous grape vellum. So I will use it, but yeah. Somebody else was saying that it might be difficult or more expensive to put through the mail because of these are quite thick. Hi Jenny. Hi Anne. How are you all doing tonight? So there's this one that we're going to use and then one of the vellum pieces. And this banner okay so let's do the stamping first so it, it comes with a guardian green um, um, stamping spot but I'm, I'm going to use my my full size one did I bring it over yes I did it's a mummy one. <laughs> okay. So let's put the stuff away so we have a bit more room here. I feel like I've put too much stuff on my desk. Ba -da -da. Okay. I can go over here. Okay, so to this one it says you've been on my mind. And so usually I like to give these a little rub before I start using them. Sometimes I just use my fingers to do it. I just like to get the when it's brand new, sometimes there's a little residue on it from the manufacturing. Okay, so if I bring some blocks over here, get a long one, I think. I don't know if you noticed, but a couple of the, the little uh, acrylic blocks are retiring. So if you want any of these, you should get them um, before it, before they all sell out. Okay, um, this one. So even though the sale starts, on April the 9th for the uh, last chance items. If you really want it, you might you might want to think about getting it sooner because um, they'll sell out fast, especially the in colors. They always sell out fast. So just wanted to make you aware of that. Okay. Hey. I'll just need a little post it note to make sure it stamps okay. You've been on my mind. Yep, pretty good. Hi, Zana, how are you? So if you want me to do a walkthrough of the catalogue, I will do that. Um, just let me know if you're interested in me doing that. Okay. 
There we go. You've been on my mind, so let's put this on in here. Let's get this, see how it goes. I could look at the instructions, but um, you know me. Okay, so let's put this one here. Then the wooden element. going to go here and then this is going to go on top like that. Okie dokie. I'll use the glue dots for the vellum. I love these uh, the, the glue dots that come in the paper pumpkin kits because they're really good for adhering vellum and you can and you don't see through. What am I take a pick over? Let me just get it. Okay. So I, so most people here are on Facebook, oh there's one, it's on YouTube, but um, I posted a little video today on my Facebook um, page um, showing the retiring, it's, it's a little video and it shows you what's retiring. So let's put this here, like that. So you can't see the, the dots behind, that's good. And then this one, we'll put on here like that. So let's get some blue dots for that. Let's see where I'm going to put it. Put one here. Oh, you can see that. See how it's going. We'll put one here. Put one in the middle here. Okay. So while I'm on the video tonight, we'll have a little shot at colouring one of these. And see how it looks. Um, one of the, one of the other demonstrators that's on the team that I'm part of, she actually embossed it with gold. One of these with gold, and it looks very pretty. I see. Um, okay, let's put that on like that. And then this. Can go on with dimensionals. I think I'm just going to put one on each end. So has everyone seen the retiring list yet? No, 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 Marie, don't do that. It's a bit too far over. Let's put it about here. There we go. Like that. And then let's just look at the instruction. Um, this one. Yeah, very simple. Let's put some of the little embellishments on it. And then here. Where did they put it? Oh, I can't really tell. 
one will be on the purple. Then one here. There you go. So that's card number one. What do you think about the wooden element? Tell me the truth. What do you like? Do you like it or not? But when I drew my alternative cards, I'll be cutting this in half because that's that's a waste <laughs> to be on the back of the card. So that's card number one. Okay, now let's do this one. And we will get my this one and I, I don't I, I didn't really want to cover this part up but that's the way they've done it yeah no I do yeah we'll try coloring it see how it looks okay so for this one more vellum Vellum and the tree. Clear glitter embossing powder. Maybe. And then let's just see here. So let's have a little experiment here. See how that looks. Let's use something for the trunk of the tree. I think I will use my pecan pie bl uh, not blend uh, marker. Like that. What do you think about that? Oh, we'll try it. We'll put it on anyway. <laughs> okay. So, let's see here. This is that, that, and that. Okay. Let's get the other labels. Not that one. And the other labels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll put them back in the box. This one. Okay. So this one we're going to use the stamp that says have a beautiful birthday. You think the colour looks nice? I'm just not a fan of the wood. They they had um they had these in the catalogue a few years ago. Or was it in the catalogue or was it in a kit? I'm not sure, but yeah. I wasn't a fan. Oops. 
It's okay. So this will go here, not the tree goes in a point here, and this goes over here like that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot retiring from the annual catalogue for sure. My craft room will be empty. <laughs> okay, um, how's this one going? About here. See, I don't like to cover this up. What about put it up here? I'm going to do it, even though the tree's up in the sky. That's okay. I don't. I don't like that. So then we put this up here like that. Then this can go on like that. Yeah, I oh, I think, don't, don't think this is on straight actually. Then this one, put some blue dots on that. Well, the vellum is going to be not in the catalogue anymore, so that's that was a surprise to me. Unless it's going to show up in the online exclusive at some point. What was your biggest surprise, Jeannie, that's retiring? I'm really sad to see the contour dies go. I love those dyes. Scallop contours. Okay, now put some dimensional on the back of this one. On the back here. And then I'll use some glue dots for the rest of it, I think. I love the new ink colours though, I must say. Um, put that out here. Like that. Okay, and some blingy bling bling. So there we go, card number two. Okay, now the next one. This one. So I will um, 
I will be putting these on my blog at some point tomorrow and a, and a couple of alternatives for sure because I'm, I'm going to be using both sides of this I think for my alternatives and okay so this one we're using this one we're going to use these ones I wonder, is this the same shape as the modern oval punch? Let's have a wee look here. It's a, no, it's smaller. It's narrower. The oval punch is narrower. I was just wondering. Let me just have a little thing here. Um, let's see this one. And this one will go oh doesn't fit does it no but you could still use it you could still use it for this one okay um get my picture so I can look at it. So this is one we're going to do. So it's going to go with that heartfelt thanks. Where is the stamp set? Heartfelt thanks. Yeah, I love all the new colours too. Okay. So let's just stamp this. Yeah, the vellum. I, I I'm hoping they're gonna put that on the online exclusives. Okay, I felt thanks. There we go. So I've still got quite a bit of vellum, so I will be using it. Okay, so these are different shapes. Oh, okay. I didn't really pay attention to that. Okay. So I think this this one may have been a narrower piece I was supposed to use for that. Oh well. Okay, so this one is going to go up like that, covering the whole tree. Grr, grr. And then another wooden element. This one is going to go about here. Heartfelt thanks is going to go on about here. I wonder if I should move it over here. What do you think? So we can see the tree. Do you like it on this side? I think I might like it on this side. Okay, let's stick down the vellum. Um, Okay. Oh, 
But I was happy that the Countryside Inn paper is staying because I do like that paper. I was surprised about that, that there was, there was a couple of designer series paper that's sticking around, which is not quite unusual. I can't remember what the other ones are, but... Okay, so let's put this one here, I think. And then this one. Do you mean the vellum? Okay, that one can go, maybe I'll put it that way. And then put this on like that. Okie dokie. I'll be happy when I get the the catalogue, the, the actual physical copy of the catalogue in my hot little hands. It's not the same when you see it online because I like to have it in my hand. <laughs> So don't forget, if you live in Canada and you would like a catalogue, please reach out to me. If you don't have a demonstrator and you need a catalogue, I'd be happy to send you one. Okay. Maybe they will come out with it in different colours, seeing as how they've got it here in gorgeous grape. You never know. You never know what they're going to do. Okay, so this one I think I'm going to put here, like that. And then this one, I'll put, an, I'll put a dimensional over here. Let's put it on the back. Uh, let's see where it's going to go first. Let's put one down the bottom here. And then one here. I think that might be enough. Um, like that. And then some more blingy bling bling. So don't forget to check out my Facebook page if you haven't already because I have that little video on there showing everything that's retiring. Would you like it better on this side? instead of that side. Yeah, I like it because I like to see the tree here. Let's put my cover on my ink. This this is not blue vellum. This is gorgeous grape. Is that what you mean? Or was it blue vellum before? I can't remember. But Okay, let's get all my cards that I just made. Let's do this off so it looks like I'm tidy and I'm not really. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so. This one. This one. And this one. Or let's just. What do you think? Do you like it coloured? I think it looks better when it's coloured actually. Um, yeah. 
but I, I will make some alternatives because there's so much you can do with these card bases. Um, and I, I, um, there's another t uh, demonstrator on the team that I'm part of. Her name is Laura Secchi. And she has, she makes so many gorgeous um, uh, alternatives. So you should check her out if you haven't. Um, she's a demonstrator in Canada also. So that's my, that's me for tonight. Let's just, thank you, Jeannie. Um, let's see. There we go. So let me know what you think about doing a, a catalogue walkthrough if you're interested in that. I can certainly do that. Um, I've already marked a lot of my pages, <laughs> uh, trying to get ready for the new catalogue. So even though the catalogue doesn't start until May, um, there's still a lot of preparing and to do with that. Um, so also I wanted to mention that uh, if you live locally to me, I have a card class on the second Tuesday of the month um, in my home. And then I have a monthly um, card class to go, which I offer uh, using Zoom. So this month's Zoom class will be featuring this, uh, the Filled with Happiness which is retiring <laughs> and oh and did and um i saw that patty bennett today had posted she got her pre-order because she went to um on stage and she got some embossing folders that are really big um they're the whole size of the the cutting mat on on your stamping cut and emboss machine they're really big so that was interesting to see. Um, so it's going to be fun watch, uh, looking and seeing what's new. And so demonstrators can do a pre-order at the beginning of April. So, you know, I'll be doing that too. <laughs> so um, have, a, have a great night and let me know if, you, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber and if you feel free to post in the comments on Facebook if you do any alternatives with this kit. I'd love to see them. Um, um, yeah, so anyway, have a great night, everybody. And I will be back here live on Sunday morning at 10.30 with my weekly card sketch uh, challenge card. And yeah, I'll see you all soon. Okay, bye.